Hey guys, uh, Scott Patton here, and I'm going to uh, talk to you today about, uh, you know, it's the first of May, I'm going to talk to you about what I am I will go fishing with um, at the beginning of May, and it's, uh, I feel like these are just a few baits that a guy's got to have and catch fish, you know, basically this is shallow fishing this time of year, you know, I know, uh, you know, come mid-May and stuff like that, even uh, towards the end of May, it's going to start changing, fish are going to start moving offshore and stuff. But through the first couple of weeks of May, these are some baits that I would definitely have on hand and fish and baits that I've been catching fish on. I guess I'll start out with uh, top water since I would start that early in the morning. And the two that I'm gonna go with, I mean, you could almost catch fish on a lot of different top waters, buzz baits, you know, even spooks and stuff like that. But the, the ones that I'm gonna have for sure uh, are gonna be something that's gonna make some noise <clears throat> and, it, and it's, you can work it and it'll sit there. Uh, they'll work good on calm, calm mornings and also if it's windy you got some chop on the water and you can control how much splash and how much noise you make with the bait by how hard aggressive you get with working the bait. Uh, one's going to be like a popping bait. This rascal right here, you know, this is a bone color or white color, white and bone something, anything shad pat, uh, pattern's going to be good. And uh, also a frog, something with white. This is one I grabbed, I got several different ones. This is a popping frog too. And again, the reason I'm gonna go with the with the popping frog and like the Rico pop art type bait is because uh, I can be real subtle with the noise on it. I can make both of those baits walk, and or if I need to, if it's choppy and windy, uh, so the fish can find that bait. I can be a little bit more aggressive with the how much I pull on that rod and uh, and the noise I make with it. Uh, like I say, you if you're not if you if you can't walk these baits, guys. Trust me, you want to learn how to do that. It's just like walking a spook. You got to pull it, pop it back, so it's got slack, so it bigger slide. Uh, if you just pull it and hold it still, it's not gonna have, and it's not gonna have enough line to slide for you. Okay. So if you if you're not doing that, practice that. Like I say, pop it. Just to see how my wrist is going back and forth like that. Because I'm pulling it, making it pop, kicking back. It's giving it slack where that bait to walk, and then it's gonna be it's just getting that rhythm down. Okay. So. Uh, Something else to help you do that is throwing like a throwing it on like a six and a half foot. I use Pal's uh, uh, endurance rod. I think it's a sixty one oh four. Uh, is a great rod for that. Uh, I love it. That's why I throw most of my top waters on. And I'm gonna throw the frog on braid, okay? Because I can throw it in more in, in thicker cover around treetops, stuff like that. I'll throw it on braid. Now, <clears throat> now the pop bar, the recoil type bait. I'm gonna throw it on seventeen or twenty pound test line. Uh, depending on what you're comfortable with, you know, 17 is good all around. But if you're throwing around a lot of grass and stuff like that, you can do it on a, a 20. Just have a little bit more strength, especially if you're fish lake that has a lot of big fish in. So the top water deal, something's gonna work early in the morning for sure. And if it's cloudy and rainy, uh, then you can catch it, catch them on it. You know, probably throughout the whole day. So it just depends how aggressive those fish stay uh, once it gets past noon or so. You know, 10:30, 11 o'clock, it's gonna start slowing down. And around noon, uh, it should get better. So that kind of explains the top water bite. Now, another bait that I like a lot this time of year, because you know, and again, the pop, you know, you're gonna have shade spawn gonna start going on too, guys. Now, this may be now, you know, beginning of May, it could be more towards the middle of May, depending on what part of the country you're in. You know, just from Tennessee to Indiana, it could be a big difference. So uh, your your spawn may be just a little bit later in in the month of May, but you will have a shade spawn. One bait <clears throat> that I've been throwing, I love to throw is a swim jig. This is just a shad pattern swim jig. I'm throwing this on 17 pound test seagull fluorocarbon. I got it on a, uh, a 725 naked pow rod. It's got a good tip in it, but as you can see, it's got plenty of backbone, guys. That tip in that helps, uh, that tip in that helps you on accuracy and casting, okay? But then when a fish grabs it, uh, I still got plenty of backbone to set the hook and catch that fish. So, uh, you know, throw this thing around any kind of cover, uh, Around, even around docks and stuff, you get it around pylons and stuff like that, under, uh, underhanging trees and stuff. Any kind of cover, you can throw this thing in uh, and learn to skip it if you can. But if you can't, if you're not good at skipping, I'm telling you, you can still throw this thing around any kind of lay down, stuff, stuff like that. Uh, and it's going to catch fish for you, okay? So that is going to be one of the baits I'm definitely going to have tied on the first couple of weeks of May. And... Uh, <clears throat> Then I'm gonna, you know, another bait too is this old standard shaky head. This thing's gonna catch fish for you all through May, uh, pretty much anywhere you go. This is a green pumpkin color. 
I think I've got that on a, uh, a 3 16 head, but you'll depend on how deep, how deep you're fishing, depending on the wind and stuff like that, uh, will depend on size you go with, but the 3 16 or quarter ounce is probably gonna be your, your uh, uh, best. But if I'm fishing real shallow even, and it's not windy, I'll go to eight ounce even, guys, okay? Uh, I'm throwing this on 15 pound test cigar braid, and I actually have a 12 pound test cigar uh, leader on it. I don't wanna go too light, you know, I'm here on Chickamauga, and we catch some big fish, we fish in this thing. I'm fishing around docks, gravel banks, any anything where after these fish spawn, they start pulling out on some of these channel banks, some kind of stuff they use before they they moved up. Uh, that's going to be real good, and then shake the head is going to be really good around any kind of docks and stuff like that, guys. You know, back in the creeks and mouse creeks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna fish this thing with, fish it real slow. Don't get to fishing too fast, but uh, this is a bait that's going to put a lot of uh, a lot of fish in the boat for you too during uh, the couple, first couple of weeks of May. And one of my old standbys that you've got to have is old wacky rig. Uh, again, I'm throwing this on a like I think a 72 power rod. Uh, <clears throat> I've got uh, just a green pumpkin magic. I throw different colors and stuff like that. I put that one inch nail in the head of it for weight. Uh, I got on a 12 pound test leader. Sometimes I'll go to 15 on this if I throw it over top of grass and stuff like that, just so I got extra strength to get those fish out of that, out of that grass. Uh, sim simple to use. Gonna go out there, twitch it back, let it flutter, twitch it back, let it flutter, you know, throwing around any kind of cover. If you get it, you start throwing around treetops, stuff like that, guys, you're gonna wanna use some kind of weedless style hook with that. But this is gonna be a bait that's gonna put fish in the boat for you too all through May and especially the first couple of weeks of May. It's good for fish that are spawning. Uh, it's good for fish that are garden fry and stuff like that too. So uh, it, it's just one of those places going, you wanna have tied on in May because it's gonna catch fish for you. All right, <clears throat> and then probably one of my favorites. If you're fishing anywhere where you got some high water, a lot of times in May in places you got high water, depending on the lake you're fishing, Unfortunately, the water here on Chickamauga right now, where I wish it was high, but it's just now coming up. Um, I think some of the other TVA lakes may have a little bit more water than, than what we do, but you can still flip a lot of lay downs and stuff like that. And I'm just flipping a, a raised bug. You know, black and blue is what I got tied on here, but you know, green pumpkin, green pumpkin blue, any of those are gonna work good. I, I flipped this on really heavy line. I threw 25 pound test fluorocarbon cigar brace X is what I like. I got this on a PAL Endurance. This is a 775, great flipping rod at a great price. I love the cork handle stuff on it, super comfortable, super strong rod. And I got that tight, I got a 3 ounce Pro Tungsten. It's not been real windy here. Now if I'm gonna start flipping this thing down around the grass, stuff like that, I'll go to half, even a three quarter ounce, but a lot of times the grass isn't real thick just yet, so a half is plenty. Uh, but this is something I'm gonna flip around uh, lay downs. I'm gonna flip around boat docks. I'm going to flip it around, you know, in, in some of the shallower grass and stuff like that. That's maybe growing up three, four feet deep, which we've got a lot of right now. But uh, this would be good, you know, especially later in the morning after you've done your top water bite uh, to try to get some bigger bites on uh, on you know docks and lay downs like that. Once that sun gets up and those fish ain't as aggressive as they were. So that's kind of the way I work these, you know, the you know the uh, time you know time of day you know top water early and then you're going to go as the sun gets up you can go to your shaky head you can go to your uh uh flipping you know swim jigs going to be good early in the morning you know your wacky rig can be good all day but usually it's going to be good early in the morning too uh first two three four hours of the day you know cloudy days you know you're going to catch fish on it throughout the whole day so uh that kind of is a rundown for what i do you know i've got a chatterbait tied on here too Jack Hammer, you know, I'll throw it in shad pattern again. We're gonna have a, uh, we've got some shad already trying to spawn. They have been for a week or so. I've been having them follow my bait. Anytime you got shad following your bait in, that typically means they're trying to spawn. I know we just had a full moon, but uh, Jack Hammer and uh, or a shatter bait the one in a shad pattern can be good for you too, as far as covering water, trying to locate some of these fish. But all the bait outs, you know, the first ones I've talked about are my primary baits. But you, know, you probably won't have that jack amber tied on too. Um, but you know, if you don't mind fishing in the rain, that top water bite and that swim jig bite can be good all day long, I'm telling you. Uh, it's a good time of year to fish. 
guys, I hope this will help you out some. Uh, and uh, if you got any questions or anything like that, just leave them down below in the comments. And uh, I hope that you're having a good spring. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys yelling at me. Appreciate all you guys uh, liking and sharing and uh, following me along. Uh, we will see you on the water. Talk to you later, guys. Good fishing to you.